All right, back again, Luke here. And today, as you can see in front of you, this is another package. And this one is once again from good old Derek64. You can see it's in the Lowe's Home, Home Improvement uh, heavy duty box here. So we'll cut into this thing and give it a shot. I haven't had a chance to see what's inside it. So I figured we could do this one here and take a look at it together. Um, today is one of those days where I just don't have a lot of time. I've been uh, really busy, so got a few minutes or about 25 minutes or so here. So figured I could try and make an unboxing video for this one and see how see how it goes. Let's give it a try. Let's see what else we got. One more corner. Man, this thing is really taped. There we go. All right. So first of all, get a lot of bubble wrap, which is fantastic. You can always reuse that. Look at that. Well packaged. Very nice. Oh, nice. What is? Oh my gosh. Holy mackerel. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm guessing that this is uh, some seasoning salt. Um, it looks like some seasoning salt. Let's see. What does this thing say? <laughs> Holy wow. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Maybe if I can read through this thing quickly. Hey Luke, I hope you don't mind my typed out letter as my handwriting is atrocious and I suppose sending you a letter is customary when sending you a package. Fumble on my part with the last box I guess. So, I sent you a few things. I managed to send you a couple of munchies that I asked what you liked. You told me you liked hot Doritos, but where I live there's many variants of hot down here. So, it's predominantly Hispanics and they like their spicy. <laughs> So I sent you three different bags of hot Doritos. I got you spicy nachos, salsa verde, my personal favorite of the three, and salsa picante. I also sent you a bag of takis. If you like a little kick in the tongue, they say you'll like those. Um, they're my oldest daughter's favorite. I also sent some sawai lemon, or some lime salt. People uh, that drink like to put some of it on their in their beer, but I actually like just to eat it a little bit uh, straight as I don't drink. And the contrast of spicy stuff, ranch flavored stuff is a little harder to come by around here, so I managed to find ranch powder for you though. And ranch potato chips were uh, also a challenge. I hope them being Pringles is okay. <laughs> also, I sent some of the seasoning that uh, I use when making brisket among other things. I don't know how often you guys have brisket in Japan, but it goes great with really anything. Chicken, fish, any kind of meat really. It's from a local store around here, so you can't really find the seasoning the same way anywhere else. I haven't been able to... Uh, let's see here. I haven't been able to... Anyways. And for the last food related thing, I sent a bag of watermelon and Lucas lollipops. They're kind of strong, but they're good all the same. And if you can tough the chili on the lollipop, you can get it to the watermelon flavored goodness. Uh, I state the obvious only because I've had friends that tend to toss it out before getting through the hot part. Anyways, now with the game related stuff, I've been meaning to send you some game relating stuff, uh, etc. I sent you... A uh, copy of a game to see if you could fix it and uh, maybe thinking about making a video. It's a very strange problem. It doesn't occur often. Also, I sent an extra copy of another game. I've been trying to sell it for a while, but no luck. you got to have a PAL 64 to play it. Don't got one of those either, but you might. I <laughs> don't know if you've had one in your collection already. And finally, something special that I'll leave out for you to see for yourself. It's packed away in its own box. Uh, I would suggest to save it for last, but that's about it for me now, Luke. So let me know what you think about the gaming stuff I sent, and if you can fix the game for me, and let me know about the snacks. Don't be a stranger and hit me up whenever. So, Derek64. Holy mackerel. Now that is a letter and a half. <laughs> so, uh, this one says, please save for last. Okay, I like that. We'll keep that one last. So this is what, uh, this is his uh, special seasoning, I guess, here. Very interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten any special seasoning like that before, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> Put that over there. Here is Doritos, which I've never seen like this before. Hot sauce Doritos. Wow, this is kind of cool. It looks, uh, <laughs> looks really hot. <laughs> but that's super cool, man. I'm really looking forward to trying those. What else do we got? Ah, these are the, uh, Super, extremely powerful, I guess, extra potent, um, like uh, watermelon flavored spicy monsters. We have to give those a try, I guess. Uh, oh, what do we got here? 
Oh, these must be the games that he was talking about. This one is for the 64. That's uh, a PAL 64 that he was trying to get rid of, but I guess he couldn't. So, there's that. I don't think I have a PAL 64, so I'm going to have to try and see what I can do with it. This one looks like it's been uh, tried to open up and taken, uh, taken a look at, so we'll pop it open, give it a shot as well. And this is another game that he wanted to see if I could repair for him. So, we'll go ahead and pop this thing open and check some of that. Good old uh, Soul Blazer. It's a cool game. And here is an NES shell, a SNES shell, one that I was looking for because uh, if you remember, Derek sent a circuit board last time and the circuit board was um, just bare. I managed to get it working, but it needed a, uh, a shell. And lo and behold here, here is a shell, <laughs> which is super awesome. Look at that. That's not too bad. Pretty nice. It's got the usual wear and tear that uh, these shells kind of suffer from, but it is a shell nonetheless. That is super cool, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! All right. And more, more food goodness. So we've got uh, ranch seasoning dressing, which is super cool. I asked, um, I asked him if he had anything or if he could find anything like that because this stuff is freaking awesome on popcorn and whatnot. Just really don't come by it so much around here. <laughs> Some ranch flavored Pringles. These are always welcome. These are super, super cool. And what else we got? Ah, these are the other one, hot, hot chili pepper and lime tortilla chips. Oh, that sounds really nice. That sounds good. That's gonna be fun. Give those a try. And some more Doritos, what are these? Oh, these are the lemon, uh, like the little lemon poppers or so that uh, he was talking about. You know, the, oh, this is the uh, seasoning that he's talking about. Yeah, all right. That'll be kind of fun. Try and put that on everything. <laughs> we got another bag of Doritos here. There's a salsa verde and here is the spicy nachos. Oh, dude, this is super cool. This is fantastic. Just the food, man. That's... <laughs> I <laughs> feel like I made a run to uh, Costco or something. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I forgot the last one here. Save this one for last. Uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, it's already been opened here. What in the heck is it? Oh, uh, we're unwrapping it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a copy of Conker's Bad Fur Day. Holy hell. Dude, that is awesome. You know, I was thinking about buying this game uh, several, several times because when I was back in the States, I actually sold my copy that I had um, in order to get enough money to come to Japan in the first place because I just didn't have the money. But I was finally able to get it, you know, back in the day. But, oh man, this is awesome. This is going to be so much fun. Dude, thank you so much. Oh man, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to play this. I'm gonna have to play this today. This is freaking awesome. Look at that, guys. Derek64 coming through like a, a champion here. That was totally unexpected. Really caught me off guard, man. <laughs> Super cool. Well, guys, as you can see, I mean, lots and lots of uh, chips, lots of snacks, lots of awesomeness, spicy stuff. We got seasoning, we've got game repairs, we've got it all here. And it's all thanks to Derek64. So, once again, huge thanks, man. And uh, we'll have to get on some of the munching with this and uh, get on some of the playing with this and then get some of the fixing with uh, this. We'll give it a shot here. But that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching. Woo! Watching some awesomeness. My camera is taped here to the floor. Hee <laughs> hee!